after my finding, I discovered that the girl is more a partner. So, hey! Ajaba! Your Highness. Is that true? What, Your Highness? That you took my son, the Prince of Afar, to a Wapata, to a Lusu? Talk to me! Your Highness, the Prince forbade me from telling you. into the palace? How could you? No, 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 please. Take it easy. Don't, don't lose your temper like that. Please. You are also. Answer me! Yes, sir. I am. I am. The who brought you here? And what are you doing in my palace? Sir, it's your son. I told him to leave me alone, but he practically forced me to this place. If I open my eyes and still see you here, I shall make a sacrifice of you to the gods. So, Leave! Uh, father! Now! It's my wife you're chasing away, you know. That's my wife! To be disgraced. Eh? Didn't you hear what your father said? Huh? Didn't you look in his eyes when he said those things he said to me that he was going to offer me as a sacrifice to the gods? He meant every word of it! Or lama over my dead body. Listen, leave me alone, okay? I have to go home to my mother. Not in the state, Olama. I'm going home. I, I want to let you. Olama! Oh, what, what, what do you want from me? What kind of sin are you creating here? Do you know what people will say to about me when they see us like this? I don't care. I care! Listen, just leave me alone, alright? Just let me go. Olama. For what? Look into my eyes, please. Do you remember these eyes? The very day you gave me water at the stream path. That was the day you became the queen of Afanasa. And nobody, not even my father, nor the gods can take that away from you. I am, I am just so afraid. I... Just come with me. To where? love, life is disrupted physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Do you also know that Umakpata knows no love, but some faceless men who creep into their heart at night to abuse them into progression? Believe me, the story of Umakpata and the sacrificed virgin will be written with both of us holding the pen. Hmm. 
Do not underestimate the power of love at first sight. Many of us might not get a second inspection and you perfectly fit that bill. I don't know what to say. Then listen some more. See, love is like a fabric that never fades, no matter how often it's washed in the waters of grief and adversity. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a law that you went to Obodo Yibo to study? See, love is a universal subject. No matter your choice of course in life, you must encounter it. Let's just go home. There are too many sand flies here and they are biting me. Just show me where it bites you. I yeah, don't want trouble. And what if your father sends people to my house to carry my mother, my, my brother, my uncle? Listen, you will not do that. I saw those eyes. He meant what he said, and he, I know he won't stop at anything. Then take me home. That way, no harm will come to me. Mad. I am obeying orders from your highness. I am the prince. He is the king and his words are... How long do you think he will still live? You obey him in this matter and be disgraced when I'm king or you serve yourself for tomorrow. Boys, let's go. I told you. It's okay. What did I do? Thank you, Your Highness. I'll be back. Look, son. I did not send you to London to imbibe the whole of the white man's culture. This is Africa. You will incur the wrath of the gods. I have chosen Olama. There's something in her that ties both our lives together. Ah! It is forbidden. She is not suitable. She's an Osu, an outcast. This is Africa. With due respect, father. She's the only one in this filthy town worth the candle. I have made my choice. Enough of this nonsense, or else I'll have to disinherit you. And you think I care? You don't care. Huh. And be very careful, Father. Else I move out of this palace to never return. <laughs> I might have lost the prince. I can live with that. But how do I live with the fact that I lost him to that, that Umwabata, an outcast? It will never happen. Oh dear, men, men. It is happening already. Uju, hmm? it is happening already. Hmm? My prince insists that it is either the outcast or nobody. Oh. My uncle told me that. Oh. This is serious, Umwabata. And what is serious about this? Is the prince the only man in this world? Why not find yourself another man and stop disturbing us about this? Prince, 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 prince. Hey, he's. Hey. Maka, please. Be cool. Don't irritate me. Are you deaf? Or are you blind? Don't you know my punishment? That I cannot marry. Any other man from these parts? So, what do you plan to do now? It's your man. Uju, eh? Aren't you my friends? We are. That is why I have called you to help me figure it out. 
Mm. My son, I can see you're truly in love with her. Well, since it's now beginning to look like a matter of life and death, you may go on. Yes, go on. Feel her body. Enjoy it to your satisfaction. Feel and enjoy her? Yes, of course. But do not go any further than that. Meaning? Meaning that if you insist on actually marrying her, then the kingdom will leave this land and go back to Amorzala from where it came centuries ago. So the royal seats did not originally belong to our clan? No. Someone there at Amozala committed a sacrilege. And the kingship came to us here. Now, if you bring in an outcast as a wife, the kingdom after my reign will go back to Amozala. Because you cannot rule as king with an outcast as a wife. Whatever you want, I will give it to you. Only do this for me. Defile that outcast. Since the prince rejected me because I am not a virgin. Thanks to you, he must never meet her a virgin. And what if he has already eaten from her pot of orasup? that is in between her legs. I know the prince. He always takes his time. Okay. I'll do something. How can I ever thank you? What do you want? Name it. You know what I want. Let's not waste time.
Your Highness. How could I ever dream of such wickedness? You know I can do it. Idiots! Simple assignment, you can do it. Times. But the prince usually springs up from nowhere. Honestly, Moria, I don't know what brings him to the spot always. I don't know. Something needs to be done. And fast. Okay, okay. I will do something, but before that, just. I will get out of my sight. Not until you perform the duties. You have never been in this palace before in your life, have you? No, no, your highness. Good. I have brought you into March where you never dreamt of being before in your life. Just to make one message clear. This fire which you made through your ambitious Miss, to burn will burn so terribly, so terribly that your entire household will be wiped out from the surface of Afanasa. Please, Your Highness. Please. I did not Please. ask you to open your mouth. Now, you may go. You must go back to the palace, please. And I ask why? Your father, your father, please, leave us in peace, please. Please, my prince. Leave my father to me. My prince, please. By this act, you seek our death, please. A man must die. But death is sweeter when a man dies for that which he believes in. Do you believe in freedom? My people, this is actually an emergency. The people of Amaegede are our brothers. 
Yes. I therefore think that we should arrange to assist their king in giving his queen, his cherished queen, a befitting burial. Igwe, you have spoken very well. They are actually our brothers. And I support we shall assist them. Um, Your Highness, there is something very important that we want to suggest. Please go on. This is an opportunity for you to retain your dynasty and not use it to Amozala. Uncle over my genuine affair with his niece. Oh, dear, my son. Has it come to the point where you won't even greet your father, the Igwe? It has come to everything, father. Since all you want is your heir to act your slave. Did you get that idea? Sit down. Sit. Oh, dear, no one takes on a battle he is certain to lose. Trust me, father. I will win this battle. Oh, you've already won. You have won. Since I see that there is so much passion you have for this girl, and I therefore give her my consent for you to have her, as my wife? Yes, as your wife. There is no point in tearing the palace apart when you are truly tr tr in love with her. On account of this, you can have her as your wife. That is your wish, isn't it? Um, um, uh, what, what about your cabinet? My cabinet? Don't worry about them. I am still king of this kingdom. I can take care of my cabinet. I can handle them. Thank you, Father. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, they're my son. My father has finally approved. And this is the beginning of our lives together. sent me an invitation for his Ophala festival, which takes place tomorrow. I want you to represent me there. Anything for you, Father. We will conclude the marriage rights with Olamma immediately after your return, so that 
She can move into the palace. You will live long, my king. Shall be well with you, my son. Ne, we are greeting you. Hey, hey, hey! Hold that your mischievous greeting. Ne, we came to say we are so sorry for our unruly behavior the other time and to apologize for our unfair attitude towards our friend, Olanma. We are really sorry. Please, <laughs> Mama. We are very sorry. Please, Mama, give us another chance. And we promise nothing will ever come between your daughter and us again. Please, Mama. Hmm. Adi, Mama. If you are truly sorry, we are. Is you? Okay. Let me go inside and call your friend. By this time of the morning. Or didn't you sleep last night? Or did he <coughs> overnight? <coughs> you girls, leave Ola alone. Can she live her life the way she wants? <coughs> Maka is right. Hey, hey. Oh, you dear friend. Ola. I'm so sorry. In fact, I came to apologize for all the silly things I did to you. You know you're my friend. I like you. And I really missed you. Hola. <laughs> we missed you. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> How are you? My sister. They are bad people. Some enemies who don't like our friendship have been telling me, oh, no, must smash the place away from you. And I told them, shh, man, shonuki. Is that your problem? Yes. I mean, what is wrong if my best friend decides to eat from where I am eating, or better still, from where I have eaten already? Is that not fresh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, Nuria, I know that I'm actually supposed to be the one explaining to you how I came across the prince. I mean, it's not as if I deliberately wanted to take his mind away from you or something. I mean, you know how these things work. <laughs> you, you're tago, it's just a natural attraction and a, a chemistry. My sister, there's no problem. I understand. <laughs> anyway, it is good to have my friends back. Now we are all drinking together again. Ah, so. Tell me, what has been happening to each and every one of you? Would you? Who is the latest guy on board? I mean, who is, you know, chasing you at the moment? Hey, nobody else. I don't like the village voice. Would you? Hey, hey, hey. So, you don't like village boys anymore? Mm. Now, the city boys. See? Your level has changed. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, what about you? Nothing for now. Mm. We're going on an errand. Would you want to come with us? Does she need to? Can't you just let her be? Maybe she could rest or something. Ola, we missed you so much. Come with us. Mm. I missed you. I missed you terribly. Okay, I think Nuria is right. I'll go with you next. Okay. I'll come. Hola. <laughs> um, Mama, 
I will be going with my friends. Oh, I'll come back very soon. What of the mineral? Let's go. <laughs> Carry your drinks. Don't worry. I'll bring the bottle back. Are you sure? Okay. Mm. Yeah, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Hola. Mama na bia o. So, anya sa ko. Hmm. Hola. 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 Mm. Mm. Anyway, mm. 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 we've been working for a while. Mm. 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 Tired. Mm. Very good. Three girls. Oh. I think I'll have to go back home from here. I need to rest. Go back home. Go back home if you're tired, eh? Ola, come with me. Why are you calling Ola? If you want to go, go. Does Ola have to go with you? If you're tired, go home. Eh? Leave her alone. Go. And don't worry, I'll come over to your house, okay? Let me just stay with them for a while. Mm -hmm. I'll meet you up at home. And besides, <laughs> we've missed Ola so much. Mm. Ola. <laughs> Ola, so what has been happening? My eh? sister. Not too much. It's just... Get yeah, you shut up! Look, if you don't tell them to leave me now, you'll see what the prince will do to you. Not even the prince can save you here today. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Good for you. 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 You snatched my darling husband from me. My darling husband that I worked so hard to get and turned me moi, into a laughing stock in this town. I can't marry him. Yes. But neither will you. 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 Hmm? Get this stupid dirty one behind me. This outcast out of my sense. So, so you planned this? No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. There's no need crying why the head is already off. If you had agreed to have me, you wouldn't be winding up like this. Take her away! So, this is very strange indeed. This lady cannot be used for this. Kete, hmm. what are you saying? She is covered with royal blessings. We cannot bury a queen with another queen. Igwe, what? If I have not known you, I'll have doubted your competence. <laughs> She's a virgin. Offer to us by the ego of Alpha himself. Hmm? Dibia, how do we get a replacement for her since our search for a virgin in this community were in vain? I would like to warn that consequences may be grievous. It may be very, very disastrous. Her soul, her soul might come after you. Dibia, not trying to frighten us. Do as tradition requires. Take her to Amia tree in the bush and cut off her neck. I wash my hands and feet before you of any consequences that may arise out of this. You've just said my mind now. So get started. <laughs> I have come to warn both of you that on no account should the prince be told what happened to Olama, except that she suddenly got missing and that we are looking for her. Hey! The gods will judge all of you! My god will judge you! I judge you! I judge you! The ancestors will punish you! Punish you! Punish you for your wickedness! My brother's face will be for you a million times! Over and over and over! Silence the 
arrest this woman. She has insulted the king. <laughs> I don't understand this. Olama's mother is dead, and Olama has disappeared into thin air? In a kingdom where my father is king? The prince's wife to be disappears, and his future mother in law dies mysteriously, and my father knows nothing? If truly you know nothing, father, then that means you've lost total grip of your kingdom. Quiet! You can't say such things. My fiance is missing, and I will turn the pathways. The bushes, the roads of her father are upside down, inside out, until I find her or find evidence of her. Son. Son. Since we insist on knowing, I feel it's my obligation as your father to tell you. Or do I know that this knowledge will bring nothing to you but pain and sorrow? The queen of Amaigiri died a few days ago and their men went in search of a virgin. Olama fell victim. She was kidnapped and I believe killed to bury their queen. Hey. Hey, God have mercy, God have mercy. My friends! Taken on our wares. Or rather put it, that's Mbelede Keiji Amadike. It has happened. I can't reverse it. Then we go to war. Go to war? I can't go to war for just any and everything that happens. It's unfortunate that all Lama was involved in this case. You can't go to war. Then if you wouldn't go to war, watch me go single-handedly. Watch me. Yeah, can you give me more? And we need more yourself. No war. Mom, baby, ready to be more. I get the baby off of me.
My queen. My queen. Even in death, you're the salt of my life. Hear me, my queen. Hear me. This place is our sanctuary, your lover. Even if I die. Even if I die in the course of avenging your death, Alama! Death. Then my death would not be in vain. my place of happiness and sorrow. Speak! I've been following you, my twins. And though I keep the company of the wicked girls, I am not in myself wicked. And though I know no one has told you the truth about Lama, the fire still burns in me to tell it to you. And that is why I followed you here, my friends. My queen. What do you know about my beloved? Speak, I say. She was betrayed by those who loved you. She was caught and taken to her death in Amaegede by the palace. I can say, I have said, but I can't say more, for I fear for my own life too. Gods have given rest to her soul and that of your mother. We watch over us for now until we die and join them when we grow old. 
I see my mother always in my dream. And I ask her to take vengeance on her killers. And my beloved, do you also see her in your dream? Never. She must have gone far in the land of the spirits. Don't worry. You see her one day. Our loved dead ones always appear in our dreams to tell us to take heart. information that the prince is returning. Oh. May the gods be thanked for this information. I eagerly await his return home and possibly his return to his senses. Let him in. Let him in. Uh, 
wiedzę. Wiedzę. I have come to unsay what I said the other day. Good. I'm very glad that you are finally coming back to your senses. But I'll do so on one condition. That you banish Agaba, Uriah, my ex-wife, and all her friends who had a hand in Olama's kidnap from this village forever. And that you recognize all the Wapatas in this village as free and complete citizens of this kingdom. Only then will I forgive what you've done to me, Father. Was in such a hurry. Hey, Wu, that's him. I've never seen him in such a hurry. Make way. He has good tidings for me. He's hurrying to me. There's fire on the mountain. There's fire on the mountain. Fire? What fire? What mountain? Someone has died in the palace. Not someone. All of us have died. Agaba, stop speaking in idioms and tell the tale. The king has banished us from this kingdom. He banished all of us except Amaka. And the banishment takes place immediately. It is shocking you invited all of us here to argue and talk endlessly on this Wapata issue. It is interesting that Igwe communes with his ancestors and with them come to a decision that the system of Osu and Wapata should be abolished in our land. And he brings this to his cabinet for discussion. And we hear Wapata is Wapata. Does he show a sound, wise judgment? Consider it. These are all citizens of Afanasa. Should they not be given equal rights and opportunities like the rest? Think of it. Igwe is right too. Because times have changed. After all, what is Mwapata? Don't we all breathe, cry, feel pain, love and hate like the Mwapatas? Look, time is come when Mwapata should be abolished in this our kingdom of Afanasa. Unanwe. Unanwe. Oh, you say the times have changed. <clears throat> the sun no longer rises in the east and sets in the west, is it? There's no longer day or night. Look, there is no reason for my papa to become a freeborn. No, never. Our ancestors have not agreed. I don't believe in this Mwapata issue. Are they not human beings as we are? Do they not eat the same food we eat or drink the same water we drink? Mwapata issue should be abolished. Let them be free from their ancestral body. Igwe, this is my opinion. 
Um, looking at it now from a different perspective, Mwapata is an unfair tradition. Eh? Mm -hmm. Amadi? Igwe, let that tradition die today under your reign so that history will remember you. Kili Kili Amadi, what are you saying? Yes. Eh? I think we have had a long enough discussion on this issue. Yes. Mm. I am happy and satisfied that the majority have now been swayed to the decision that the Osu Mwapata caste system is an unfair system and should be abolished. Get up. Get up. Go and call all the so called Wapata. I have news for you. To make a proclamation, go and call them. To right the wrongs of our ancestors, I have come today to start the process of reconciliation. Reconciliation? Yes. History is being made today. There's a new sun rising in your lives today. The sun is rising in your generation. A journey that started many years ago with a virgin is ending today with another virgin. I am sorry I didn't start this process when I discovered that my son was in love with Allama. But now I can see more clearly. Yes, I can see more clearly now. You will be proclaimed freeborn, all of you. <laughs> In my palace, eight market weeks from today, there and then, you shall be free, free to farm, free to love and be loved, free to have festivities and share with all the members of the kingdom, free to work in the farms. You shall indeed be free. Free in all ways. May your days be prolonged. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Get up. Get up. It shall be well with you. around to hit you. 
I will always remember your father, the king, sending people to kill my mother. I don't want to marry you and turn around to hate you when the memories of my killed mother start flooding back. I have to go. I promised you. I promised that I will get my father to abolish the work pattern discrimination in our kingdom. That has happened. There is peace now. What about the other lands? What about the other kingdoms who still have who still have the work but as believe? Can you abolish that too? I love you. I love you too. Oh, I, I really do love you. But you see, sometimes love is not enough. Go. I wish you find love. I wish you find luck after me. I want to ask you for one favor. My only brother, Arinzi, is still in this village. Promise me that. He will take care of him for me as your own blood. Promise me. I promise, Papa. Oh, please. Do not make this any difficult for me. I have decided. Yesterday and told her my heart still lies unoccupied. The love I thought I had was still born. My culture killed it. Son? Youth is carefree. Youth explores. You are young. And understandably, you wish to explore some more. But remember the old saying, go east, go west, home is the best. And son, this is home, your roots, your foundation. So explore what you will. You should eventually return home. So the question is, when, son, will you finally be home? I don't know when I'll come back. But I'll come back home someday. 
to change some of these laws and culture that have dehumanized our people and made us uncivilized in the eyes of the whole world. Culture. Culture is good, yes. But not all cultures. Not all of them. Le manya no be, le manya no me, it's